Welcome to Centenary Heights State High School and specifically to this introductory video outlining the enrolment process for Year 7 students in 2023. My name is Timo O'Connell, I'm the Head of Department Junior Secondary and I'm happy to be giving you a quick overview of our school and that particular process. Pictured on this slide are our two sets of school captains. On the right hand side are our Year 12 school captains who are responsible for our whole student body. And on the left hand side are our junior secondary captains who lead our students from years seven to nine. When asked for advice about how best to prepare your year six child for secondary school, I always start with just one step at a time. So this video will outline the beginning process for that first step but there are many more that will take place between now and the start of the 2023 school year. To give you a brief overview of our school and specifically our student body, the large majority of our students who enrol with us in year seven come from our four main primary partner schools in Rangeville, Middle Ridge, Gabonbar and Withcott State Schools. In our current cohort of 286 year seven students, we also have students who come from 36 other primary schools. A real strength of our school is the diverse cultural backgrounds these students come from, and they meld together beautifully in our Year 7 cohort in the one high school at Centenary Heights. Centenary Heights State High School has almost 1,000 students in the junior secondary component of the school from Years 7 to 9. The focus on our junior secondary program is that smooth transition from primary school to high school for our year six students. From day one, they quickly learn that the main pillars of our school are safety, respect and learning and building those very positive relationships that make learning a success. We have a wide range of staff that have a focus on student well-being on top of the day-to-day -day teachers that your child will have. These staff include two guidance officers, social worker, school chaplain and youth nurse. We have student mentors in our year 11 and 12 who are trained to work as peer mentors with our year 7 students. We also have year level coordinators who work with our pastoral care group teachers around the well-being of our students. Each class has a pastoral care group teacher that they see every morning and they also have this teacher for at least two of their subjects in their home room. The transition team is where we have a range of teachers from a lot of different subject areas that work together with the one focus, and that is of year seven students in their classes. We also have a very strong special education program and support staff that work with our students who require the additional curriculum support. Our year seven and eight curriculum has been refined over the last few years since 2015, when year sevens joined us in the high school setting. On the left hand side in red, you will see all of the core subjects that your child will study in both year seven and eight and indeed throughout their schooling here to year 10. On the right hand side, you will see the subjects that we actually label as electives, even though all students do these. They will actually study these subjects for a term at a time, ensuring that they have a taste of all of the eight learning areas throughout the two years. From here, these subjects will be selected as options for students who enter year nine right through to year 12. On top of the curriculum offerings are our extracurricular activities, which are the rich components that you will find in all schools. Throughout our school from years seven to 10, students have access to academic competitions such as Maths Teams Challenge, Science Competitions, Language Competitions such as Education Perfect World Language Championships. The list is endless. In terms of sport, students from year seven have the opportunity to participate in Tuesday afternoon sport. 
They also will complete a range of different sports during their health and physical education lessons. On top of this, they may compete at a school, Darling Downs and state level in the full range of sports that are available throughout state schools. And they also have the opportunity to trial for competitions such as All Schools Touch, the Vicky Wilson Junior Netball Competition, Red Line Soccer, again, the list is endless. In terms of cultural opportunities, students, regardless of whether they are in the Year 7 Musical Excellence Program, have the opportunity to join the musical, school choirs, and be involved in a range of different peer mediation activities. The school also has a number of social events, including school social, end of year celebration days and activities, particularly for students who achieve at a goal level. And on top of that, for Year 7s, they attend a Year 7 camp and are involved in a number of award ceremonies throughout the year. This is just a taste of the extra opportunities that students have at Centenary Heights State High School. As mentioned at the start of this presentation, there are many steps that we will now be taking in preparation for that transition from Year 6 to Year 7. This presentation is just the start. You will find on the school website in the enrolment section a list of tour dates that will take place commencing at the end of this term and into terms three and four for parents and students to come to our school and have a good look around at our school. School visits will also take place where the junior secondary head of department along with some past students from that particular primary school will visit and present to all year six students whether they're coming to Centenary Heights or not with a focus on what to prepare for when getting ready for high school. In term four, key staff from Centenary Heights will meet with key staff in those primary partner schools to discuss students who will be coming to Centenary Heights in 2023 and getting those details that are required to ensure that we are ready for each and every one of them. In term four also, we run our interface program where all students in year six from our partner schools visit our school and actually uh, take part in lessons for three Tuesday afternoons in a row where they will get a taste of what it's like being in high school. We conduct an orientation day on the Tuesday of the last week of this school year where all students who are successfully enrolled in our school will spend a day working with our teachers, working in our classrooms, and getting a taste of what it will be like in 2023. Finally, those structured orientation activities are also available and additional ones for our students who will be supported through our special education program and more details will be available in relation to that soon. The next few slides will guide you through the actual enrolment process. Firstly, all details that I mentioned can be accessed via our school website. The front page, you will see an enrolments tab and everything is listed in there. Our enrolment process opened on Tuesday, May 3, and expressions of interest have been submitted since then. These can be returned in person or emailed to the enrolments at email address that's listed on the screen. You can obtain copies of these from our school administration, but you can also download them from our school website. Mrs Lillian Smith is our enrolments officer, and she certainly would be happy to answer any questions that you might have in relation to the enrolment process. Our school, upon receipt of your expression of interest, will make contact with you via email within 24 to 48 hours, just to give you approval to proceed to step two in the enrolment process. Our school is enrolment managed, which ensures that all students that live within our catchment area are guaranteed enrolment and will be catered for at Centenary Heights State High School. You will find details about this process again on our school website, but if you Google Education Queensland School Maps, it will give you a program to check your address and which is your nearest high school. Once you have successfully enrolled, you will receive an email 
from our principal who will give you more details about the orientation day and the startup process for 2023. For further information, you would have received, if you were here tonight, a frequently asked questions information sheet, but again, it can be downloaded from our school website for those who are not able to attend. School tours are also listed with the dates on our school website under the enrolments tab, and they will take place in terms two, three, and four, where parents and students are quite welcome to join us here at Centenary Heights for a one hour tour. Primary school visits commence in term three, where all year six students were provided with additional information about transitioning to a high school. There will be a year six parents session where parents are invited to attend the first session of the orientation day on that Tuesday of the last week of the school year. You can certainly visit our website because everything that's been shared tonight you will find on our website. Or feel free to phone our school number. Please ask to speak with Mrs Lillian Smith as she will give you the details required around enrolment. Mentioned in this presentation a number of times is our school website. Pictured is the front page and you will see just on the left hand side next to our school, the enrolments tab. Once you click into there, you'll certainly find all of the details that you'll require. That concludes this presentation, but as earlier mentioned, feel free to make contact with our school should you have any questions around the enrolment process for your child into year seven for 2023. Thank you for listening.